Question 1. Explain what is Haskell? Answer. Haskell is an advanced functional programming language providing easy integration with other languages, built-in concurrency, and rich libraries. Haskell programming is centered on evaluating expressions rather than executing instructions. Question 2. Mention what are the benefits of Haskell expression? Answer. Benefits of Haskell expression. In Haskell, variable, data structure etc. is immutable. Haskell expression has no issues like updating global variables or printing to the screen. Every time calling the same function with the same argument will result in the same output. It is possible to decouple I.O. from the rest of the code, reducing programming error. It is very important feature of Haskell programming. Without telling Haskell what type of data to read. Read the function in the program will direct what to read. Question 3. Mention what are monads in Haskell? Answer. A monad in Haskell is just a type for which the equals operation is defined. Haskell's IO is based on monads. It's a specific way of binding operations together or in other words, it's a way of wrapping things and provide a method to perform operations on the wrapped stuff without unwrapping it. Question 4. List out different types of monads can be in Haskell. Answer. Each monad has its own application of the bind function like failure monad, error monad, list monad, reader monad, state and writer monad. Question 5. Explain the type system for Haskell. Answer. While working with Haskell, the first step involves in writing a Haskell program is usually to write down all the types. Haskell language is like a transcript just by looking at the function's type it will tell you about what the function might do turns runtime errors into compile time errors. It is better to fix errors up front. Question 6. Explain how function is defined in Haskell. Answer. Function definition in Haskell consists of a number of condition equations. At the beginning of each, after the function name, there are patterns that show to which data each equation applies. After that there are multiple clauses, representing different cases and a where clause to hold local definitions. Question 7. Explain what is the difference between dollar, dollar sign, and dot. Answer. In Haskell, dollar sign operator is used to avoid parenthesis. Anything that appears after it will take precedence over anything that comes before. For example, put strln show 1 plus 1 can be replaced by put strln show dollar 1 plus 1, while dot primary function is to chain function and not to avoid parenthesis. Question 8. Explain why Haskell algebraic data types are closed. Answer. Haskell algebraic data types are closed because it makes it a lot easier to write total functions. Functions that produce a result for all possible values of its type. Question 9. List out the numeric types in the Haskell prelude. Answer. In Haskell, there are five numeric types that include int. It is an integer having at least 30 bits of precision integer. It is an integer having unlimited precision float. It is a single precision floating point number double. It is a double point precision floating point number rational. It is a fraction type with no rounding error. Question 10. Mention what are the types of polymorphism you will encounter in Haskell? Answer. In Haskell, there are two types of polymorphism. Parametric polymorphism. A function is parametrically polymorphic if it behaves equally for all types in at least one of its type parameters. Bounded polymorphism. You have bounded polymorphism or ad hoc if you have custom behavior that you want to have for certain set of types. Question 11. Explain why lazy evaluation in Haskell is useful. Answer. In Hajikail, lazy evaluation is useful due to following reasons. Values will not be computed if they are not going to be used. Haskell makes sure that the order in which the expressions are evaluated will never affect their result. Also, it allows the infinite lists. Question 12. Explain what is the difference between data and new type in Haskell? Answer. New type. It guarantees that your data will have exactly the same representation at runtime. Like the type that you wrap data, it declares a brand new data structure at runtime.